everyone, welcome back to the Omogimara YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. I don't know if you can see how excited I am because I am actually filming with my brand new camera. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> this camera is the Canon EOS 200D or SL2. I have kind of talked about this camera in my previous video, um, in my chit chatty video where I was talking about getting a new camera. I'm just so overwhelmed with all the love and joy and happiness like when i posted the photo of the camera on instagram everybody was happy for me and it just blew my my mind because like i didn't expect people to like be happy for me that i got a new camera like it's it's a little overwhelming and i'm so grateful for you guys thank you so so much this is the cool thing my fucking new camera can do Oh my god, that is crazy. Just having this new camera that can do all these cool new things is just blowing my mind. Also, and I have a flip out screen so I can actually see myself when I'm filming. So it has Wi-Fi connectivity so I can literally see myself on my phone. So I kind of don't need this. Actually, let me close it. Alright, let's get to the gist of today's video. I got a huge PR package from Maybelline. Thank you so much, Maybelline. They sent me their entire Fit Me collection. They sent me some foundations, they sent me the Dream Matte Mousse, they sent me the lipsticks, the matte velvet inks, they sent me a bunch of stuff. The stuff that I was really excited to share was the Fit Me collection, this stuff right here. They sent me the foundations, they sent me five foundations, they sent me two concealers, four powders right here. They sent me four powders. I did a poll on Instagram stories asking if you guys would like to see a review on the collection and you guys wanted it <laughs> like i got a few messages saying that you better do it and i was like okay okay girl, okay okay i'm gonna do it so that's what today's video is going to be about before we begin today's video please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my youtube channel we are at 2300 subscribers now i'm trying to see if we can get to 10,000 for the end of the year we have like a couple of months left before 2019 it might be a bit you know too much but if you guys want me to reach 10,000 help me click on the subscribe button tell your friends about me tell your friends friends tell your enemies tell your mama tell your papa tell everybody about me also when you're telling people to hit my subscribe button don't forget to tell them to hit on the notification bell that bell will always inform you of whenever i have a new video so without wasting much of your time let's get started in today's video So I have in front of me five foundations, two concealers, and four powders, all from the Maybelline Fit Me collection. I have used the foundations before. These are the foundations. This is what they look like in this packaging. I've used this foundation before. In fact, I've used these two shades before. I have never used the concealers. I actually did not know that they had concealers. This is what the concealers look like. And this is what the powders look like. These products and the new products that I also got in my PR box are launched, have launched here in Nigeria. So these products are all available for sale here in our Nigeria. If you live in Lagos, you can go to the store in uh, on Insuriliri on Adeniro Gusonya. It's a Maybelline store. It's black. It's at the, it's towards the end of the road. If you go there, you'll be able to buy the foundation, buy the other things. If you are in Ikeja, you can go to Ikeja City Mall. They have a stall there. They also have stalls in Spa. There, it's Spa. I got a couple of questions about what is Spa. It's S P A R. There are supermarkets in Lagos. I think I don't know where else they are in the country. I will not lie to you. And if you don't live in Lagos but you really want my big best advice for you is to buy the products online on Jumia. In my chit chatty video, I was talking about online shopping. And when I asked questions about it, you guys were telling me that the reason why you don't like shopping online, I got two main reasons. One, you are scared of being scammed. And two, delivery fees. Now, the second thing, delivery fees, we all go through it around the world because nobody is ready to pay x amount of money for this x amount of products but the first thing i will talk about is the being scammed stuff so here's the thing maybelline has a store on jumia jumia is the platform but maybelline is the seller so you are guaranteed if you buy anything online on the jumia store with maybelline you are guaranteed original products now maybelline has their own store they have their own link online and i'm gonna put it up right now 
you're gonna see it as I'm talking this is the Maybelline store on Jumia so if you're looking for Maybelline products online you should definitely go to the Jumia site they have their own store and Jumia also has other beauty brand stores online as well you're guaranteed that you're buying official and original products from the brands so I want to swatch the foundations that I have I have the five of them right here I should have actually worn like a tank top <laughs> So that it'll be easier instead of stretching this out, but this is now like my home makeup top. It's stained it has holes in it So I'm kind of fine. Let me first start off with the lightest shade, which is 330 toffee Toffee you can see that's very very light for me next. Let's go on to 350 yes 350 caramel this is definitely darker than this, but obviously it's not my shade. <laughs> then let's go to 352 Truffle. Do you see how it's really close to my skin tone? It's like very, very close. I'm looking at it in the mirror right here. And it's super close, but it's still like, it's too cool for me. Now I'm about to swatch Pecan. Here we go. So you can see how pecan kind of matches me. I can see how truffle kind of matches me as well. But it's just a little bit off. So I mix them together. I'm kind of in between right here. If there was a shade in between truffle and pecan, that would be me. And last but not the least is Espresso. Espresso is such a beautiful deep shade. So those are the five foundation swatches that I have right here. I think these are the last five shades. But I do think that there has to be like two shades in between here. Because th that's a significant jump right there. If you see this foundation in different packaging, it's still the same foundation. Maybelline just has different packaging for different, you know, countries and different markets around the world. We got the UK packaging and I'm so happy. I love this packaging. It's much better than the bottle. The bottle doesn't have a pump. And I hate when foundations don't have a pump. Give me a tube or give me a pump. Don't give me an in-between. Alright, I'm on the Maybelline website right now. And this foundation has how many? Yes, this foundation has 40 shades and there are a lot of good shades. I can see it right here. Okay, so let me just read out the foundation. Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation Face Makeup. The lightweight foundation mattifies and refines pores and leaves a natural seamless finish. Ideal for normal to oily skin, our exclusive matte foundation formula features micro powders to control shine and blur pores. Pore minimizing foundation. Dermatologist tested, allergy tested, non comedogenic I'm on the concealer side of the site. The concealer has, there are 12 shades of concealer and I have 45 and, is this 60 or 09? Yes, I have 45 and 60. 45 is called tan on the site and 60 is called Coco. So let me swatch them. So these is these are the swatches of the concealers that I have. This is 45, which is the lighter one. This is definitely what I'll use for under eye. And this is 60. 60 is Coco. I thought 60 would be like a contour shade, but it's not. I like the packaging. It's very simple, very chic, very slim. I do like the wand it comes in. It comes with a very easy to use wand under your eyes. Come on, focus. There we go. Focus. Yeah, this is what the wand looks like. Let me see what the Maybelline, what we say about the concealers. The Fit Me Concealer Makeup for Flawless Natural Coverage. This oil-free concealer matches skin tones to deliver a more even complexion. Skin looks perfected with this natural coverage liquid concealer. This oil-free concealer formula conceals redness, flaws, and blemishes. Matches all skin tones, dermatologist fractured, blah, 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 blah. So here's the thing. I have the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. You guys have seen me use this powder several times. I use it in the shade Dark. It is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite finishing powders. It's great to set your primer with. It's great to set your face with. It is very, very good. I have never tried these matte powders. This is what it looks like. I've never tried these ones before. 340, which is cappuccino. 350, which is caramel. 355, which is cinnamon. And 370, which is espresso. How many shades does this powder have? It has 16 shades. 
wow the darkest shade on the maybelline website is 360 but the one i have here is 370 which is really good okay so let me read up the information about it the fit me matte and poreless powder face makeup mattifies and leaves a poreless looking finish with long lasting shine control ideal for normal to oily skin this long lasting powder leaves a natural poreless looking finish with long lasting shine control Paralyte's mineral technology absorbs oil to mattify skin while pores virtually disappear thanks to blurring micro powders. That is all the information on all the products I have in front of me here. I wanted to give you guys all the info about the product so that I'm not like leaving anything out. Let us get to the main cocoa of today. I'm going to be trying out the foundation, the concealer, and the powder. Alright, so I zoomed into my face a little bit, just a little bit. The primer today is the Zaron primer. I've used this primer so many times, it's almost done. Alright, you guys know when I'm doing these foundation reviews that I do not set my primer because I want you guys to see how the foundation actually works and acts on its own. So I'm going to be mixing in um, 355 and 352. And I'm going to be doing the thing that I do with my foundation wear test where I apply half of the foundation with a brush and half of it to with out oh, to my face with a sponge this is the pearl luxury beauty sponge i'm sorry guys i'm going to be doing this for most of my videos please excuse my janky nails and this is the brush i'm going to be using this is a flat top foundation brush i love it so much because it's sturdy and soft i got this from feminine favorites so we have it on the back of my hands here i'm going to start with a brush and i'll start with the brush on this side of my face here's the thing about this foundation it is not a full coverage foundation it's more of a natural it's a it's a matte natural it's a matte natural it's a natural but matte foundation so if you want more coverage you can build it up can you just see how like smooth my skin looks and the best part about this foundation is that online on the jimia website this foundation costs i think like 2000 to five or something. This is what the face looks like with the foundation. This is what it looks like without the foundation I'm Definitely gonna add a little bit more Coverage so as I was saying yeah the foundation right now on the website on the Maybelline website is 2450 naira. All right, so this is what my face looks like with two layers of foundation on this side with my brush I really like how natural it's matte it's natural it looks really really pretty on the skin now let us apply to this side with my sponge all right guys so that's what the foundation looks like on my skin it is really nice and smooth and flawless my skin doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like I put a bunch of makeup on. All right, guys, so it's time to try the concealer. And this is the first time of me actually using this product. I've never used this concealer before. It applied really nice and smooth. Hmm, doesn't look too light. It is thick, but creamy. It's a really nice and creamy concealer. Now I'm going to apply some to my chin, to the bridge of my nose, and to my forehead. I still ball in the picture. Yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why? why, why. Ooh. Okay. So it definitely brightened under my eye. Definitely brightened. As for concealing, I still see a little bit of darkness pulling through there. I don't know. It's still very dark, especially here. I'm just gonna put some right here. As that is drying down, let me just do this here. I really like the way the concealer blends out. It blends out really easily. Like, I don't have to do a lot of work to make it blend out. So at first the coverage isn't as like it isn't as full coverage this is not a full coverage concealer it's like a medium coverage concealer but you can build it up as you can see i had to build it up under this eye and i've gone back to add just a little bit more on that side so first impressions of the concealer it is not as full coverage as i want but you can build it up which isn't a bad thing some people are looking for like that concealer that's like very light and very everyday wearable I think 
that is what this concealer is. It's time to set my face, and I'll be setting my face with the Fit Me Loose Fit. Oh, I said loose. I'm used to using the loose powders. So I have cappuccino, which is 340, and caramel, which is 350. Now here's the thing: 350 caramel looks really light. That is what this looks like. It looks really, really light. But 340 looks darker, and 340 looks red to me. It looks redder. That's what this looks like. It has like a pink undertone. I don't know. Can you see the difference? Can you? You can definitely see the difference. Ooh, that is beautiful. Can you see that? How it just modified that area instantly. Been away way longer than I'm used to. My face is looking beaten flawless. I really like how this powder looks on my skin. I'm gonna stop before I go overboard. Now I need to set the rest of my face. So we have 355 cinnamon and we have espresso. I think espresso would be too dark for me. This is what espresso looks like. It's like a cool tone. And this is 355 cinnamon. This is 355 cinnamon, which looks like caramel. This is caramel and this is cinnamon. I can see that this is a bit warmer than this one but it still looks alike so i'm not I, I can't use this to set my face it's just gonna make my face look like one color so i think i'll just take espresso and be very very cautious with this oh, okay okay you can see that i made this place instantly darker it made it darker so i'm just gonna have to use a light hand to my friends like that's something that I'm used to I never cash else I just want it in a all right so we have used the foundation use the concealer and set it with the powders I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and press everything in together let me give you guys some of my first initial thoughts on the foundation the concealer and the powder now the foundation I've used the foundation several times before you guys know this I've used this on my channel it's a really great foundation you guys saw how flawless and how smooth it made my skin look the concealer isn't as full coverage as I thought but I can still work with it you can obviously layer it if you're looking for way more coverage like I have really really dark under eyes and I need a lot of coverage under my eyes so if you're looking for a concealer that you can use light like you can just put one layer or if you're looking for a concealer that you can do several layers this concealer is for you because you'll be able to do that then with the powders the powder the powders are actually really really nice and they just made my skin look really nice and flawless and matte at this like I don't look powdery do you get like I look like this is my skin shift a bit forward so you can see what my skin looks like this is what my skin looks like with everything on my face. I do have a pimple. Say hi to my pimple. But everything else looks really nice and smooth. Let me go and finish the rest of my face off camera. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I have finished my face of makeup and I am back here. I did run into a little bit of a problem. When I got upstairs and it was time for me to finish my makeup and I was doing my makeup, I realized that I was kind of turning gray. And I'm going to say it is because I used Espresso, which is too dark. And even the light hand I used made my face a little bit gray. It's not my it's not the product's fault, it's my fault. I used it out. Even when I saw it was like too dark, I was like, oh no, let me just, I can work with it. I have to use Cappuccino 340 to lighten up the complexion and, you know, bring back the warmness to my skin because it was really making me look gray. Thoughts on the everything. As you guys saw in the last clip, everything looked really nice and really smooth on my face. I am a fan of these foundations. I am a huge fan of the powders. I'm like... I'm like a fan of everything that's on the table. I don't have any negative thing to say. I am happy with my face right now. I went back upstairs, I put some highlight on, I added a little bit of blush just to bring some rosiness to my cheeks. So I really like this face of makeup I have. I'm really, really happy with it. So this isn't going to be a full scale wear test. I am going out to run just one errand. I'm literally just going to go to the bank and then come back home. It is currently 10 minutes to 10. So it's 10 minutes to 10 a.m. I'm going to go to the bank, fill out my forms and then come back home. Let's take this face into the world and let's see what happens. Hi guys. So I am back from the bank. I had to go run an errand as I said earlier and I literally just came back. My AC is just starting so it is a hot day. It is 10 after 11 so it's literally been an hour since I've 
put on my makeup i'm shiny a little bit on my nose i'm not that shiny but my nose area is starting you know to do its thing i get very very shiny on my nose it's part of my life i've accepted it apart from that my skin looks fine i am sweating a bit because i was i told you guys i took public transport so I'm sweating on my mustache and I'm sweating up here but apart from that I am looking good this is just an hour in and I think I look good I'm, I don't see anything wrong with my makeup except my shiny nose so I'm just going to blot my nose and blot like all the other areas as well and uh, yeah I'm back to normal now no sweat no shine I look great so that is it for today's video I told you guys I'm not doing a full wear test because I've used this foundation so much and it's a fantastic foundation it wears very very well during the day my nose and this area does get shiny but it's not like oh shit I'm shiny everywhere it's just like here and that's usually my problem area so I am used to it I'm I'm used to my nose getting shiny no matter what foundation foundation powder and concealer amazing i will definitely continue using the foundation i'll definitely play around with the concealer it is a medium coverage concealer and i wasn't used to that but you can definitely definitely layer it and i like that the powders are nice i did make a mistake by using the darkest one to set the rest of my face and my face started looking great but i went back in with cappuccino which really helped me and yeah I like all these products. I really, really do. You can buy Maybelline products online on Jumia. This foundation is retailing right now for 2,500 Naira. The original price is 3,002. I think they're having a sale. So if you're interested and you really want to get this foundation, definitely get this one. I am going to leave the link in the description box below. I'm also going to leave the link to the address of the Maybelline store in the description box below and leave the other places where you can get Maybelline products. I think you should really check out these products. They're really, really nice and affordable. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the Omega Mara YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel and do not forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Puffing on the bush, I don't go sense. Yeah. Who'd have thought that he would understand? Yeah. And I just never fall out, I just wanna win. I'm in it for the long run, I do this on my fam. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong.